fellow babies, welcome back to Pactor Factor on Sifted.net. Uh, we are hopeful you are watching this as a Patreon patron. If you are, thank you very much. Um, if you're doing that, or if you're not doing that, you can still subscribe to our YouTube channel, so you can do it that way, and uh, we can get paid. And if you're doing neither of those two things, then please try to remember, well, even if you are doing those two things, please try to remember to link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. If you do that, you are sticking it to Amazon. They pay. They don't get any money from you. You're already paying for that. So it's free for you. You stick it to Amazon. They actually have to cut into their billions and billions and billions of profits so Shane can afford macaroni and cheese out of the box. So please uh, link your Twitch Prime account to your Amazon Prime account. This episode of Pactor Factor is brought to you by DeShazer Ryan Realty. Right now, Doug DeShazer has beautiful lots available adjacent to Kukanusa Lake in Northwest Montana. Pull up your RV and access the hookups or build your own construction. Either way, you have access to world-class fishing, hunting, boating, swimming, biking, hiking, and the internet. No matter where you're looking to buy, make Doug DeShazer your real estate consultant at 406-291-1643. That's Doug DeShazer at 406-291-1643. All right, let's get to today's question from Sifted from Kevin. PlayStation's new hero shooter, Concord, recently had playable beta periods for fans, and the response wasn't great. Um, Sony's trying to sell the game for 40 bucks, but most games in the genre are free to play. Should it change it to free to play, even though it launches in a few weeks? Are free to play games making it impossible to sell paid games in some genres like shooters? What other genres might be at risk? This is a, this is a, movie versus TV kind of a discussion, okay? The the types of games that will always be paid are episodic, uh, big concept, big RPG, big fun story, uh, and I would say think everything that Nintendo does. So, you know, if you have a Nintendo Super Mario Brothers, you know, uh, adventure game or RPG or Zelda, you'll pay for that. Um, when you have something like Call of Duty, it's always kind of baffled me that Call of Duty, they charge you and then they try to get more money by having microtransactions. Uh, they manage to pull it off, you know, but the way they pull it off is there's a story every year. There's a campaign. It's modern warfare. And you're, you know, you're going in and you're black ops and you're going in and you're abducting, you know, Maduro in Venezuela or whatever, Noriega. You know, they used to have those kinds of missions. And... They could charge you for it, but the answer is, just like movies and TV, there are fewer movies every year um, because there's fewer things we're actually willing to pay for. And movies like romantic comedies, that's a genre that kind of went away. Now it's back, uh, it's a movie called She's All That, something like that with Glenn Powell and Sidney Sweeney. Um, that was a surprise hit, you know, for a romantic comedy, but it kind of, it's a surprise because it shows you there used to be 50 of those a year, and now there's like one. Um, so there are genres that just really work for film, like a Marvel series, you know, superhero movies, or Transformers, you know, big concept, or Star Wars. Um, and there are concepts that don't at all, like romantic comedies or police dramas, you just don't see as many movies as you used to, that's migrated toward TV, which is largely free. It's ad-supported or part of your subscription. Uh, so I think that's the same, and I think that shooters should not be, you know, charged games like Valorant isn't. So um, I think that's the future, and I agree with you on that. Um, Call of Duty will go kicking and screaming before it's free. Um, but ultimately, you know, what will end up happening is Call of Duty will no longer be sold anywhere. I'd say ultimately 15 years from now will no longer be sold. You'll have to be a Game Pass subscriber to get it. So that'll be their hook. You know, that's how they're going to get you to join Game Pass. Um, they're, they're under contract with Sony. They have to continue to offer it on console, essentially as long as Sony makes consoles. But I think that console games are going to kind of drift away as, as streaming gets better. And as we have, you know, bigger clients next to the TV, your Fire TV stick that you can stream Game Pass on right now, what's going to keep that from having two terabytes of storage? I mean, it's going to happen in the next 20 years. You know, so when that has two terabytes of storage, you download the game to the stick to play it on your TV, and you don't need a console at all. I don't know if they can actually do that. Obviously, you need a CPU and a GPU to process the, 
the data, but you, you understand my point. So yeah, it's a good point. Um, will Sony switch midstream right before they launch this and make it free to play? No chance, because Sony is Sony. Sony is uh, a backward looking company. They look at their past success and they describe it as their future strategy. Um, Microsoft is exactly the opposite. They're a future forward looking company. They're thinking about life after consoles, hence they came up with Game Pass. And they are something like $90 billion into it right now, uh, 70 for, for Activision Blizzard, and something like six or eight for Bethesda, and another you know two, three here and there for all the Ninja Theories and all the in Exiles that they bought in Obsidians. They, I mean, they bought all these different studios, so they're probably $90 billion into Game Pass, and they're all in, they're committed. So they're gonna make every game free to play, except they're gonna charge you 20 bucks for free to play games. And you're not gonna notice because you're gonna play the games differently. Point is that you're gonna have the single player version without in-app purchases or the multiplayer version with, and you're gonna have them both on Game Pass. So that's where it's going. I mean, it's a great question, but all genres are at risk except for the, the episodic giant concept stuff like what Nintendo does. Final Fantasy, you know, stuff that the, the big concept games, Fallout, remember they went from, you know, an episodic thing to free to play, multiplayer, weird, and maybe they ruined the franchise, I don't think so. Um, I think Elder Scrolls will still be a game for sale, you know, but if it ends up on Game Pass, then it won't be for sale. I mean, they, ultimately, Microsoft can say, you want to play Elder Scrolls? The only way you can play it is to be a Game Pass subscriber. That's how you drive subscriptions, and they'll do it. So I think that Microsoft is the single greatest threat to paid games. But the good news is that, you know, just like Spotify is the single biggest threat to buying albums. But once you settle into paying Spotify 10 bucks a month, you get all the music you want anyway. So uh, am I spending more on Spotify now than I did on albums? Yes. Am I listening to more music than I did before? Yes. So... You know, it's, it's the right solution. I think that'll happen with Game Pass. You will be playing more games in the future than you are now because they'll be including your subscription. I'm watching more TV because I have Netflix than I did before. I'm buying more stuff online because I have Amazon Prime. And it's linked to my Twitch subscription. Any multiplayer game is better as free to play. Um, and ultimately, I think that the way Microsoft can get around all this is an ad supported model. You know, and I actually think that the whole industry should adopt that. So Game Pass should be free. They should just force you to watch, you know, a minute or two or three per hour. And you just have to watch ads and you get everything on it for free. If they ever did that, everybody would have it. You know, because it's free and you can play every game you want. Awesome. So, you know, ultimately that's the solution. But there is no genre that's safe except the Nintendo stuff. And Nintendo can decide... Nintendo's going to be the last one. I don't think Sony makes that many games that are safe. I mean, a handful. You know, Uncharted-type game, Last of Us-type game. But they don't make... There's not very many. A far greater number of hours are spent consuming free television and subscription television than is spent watching movies. And so it'll become a smaller and smaller and smaller piece of the overall pie. My guess is that paid games isn't going to move much at all. It's going to be about the same 10 billion a year um, PC and, and console and maybe 15. And then the rest of the industry is going to be free to play, which it is now. So it's 150 billion free to play and 15 billion, 10% is purchased and 90% is not. It's going to stay that way, but it might be the 15 billion stays constant and the 150 billion doubles. So that's more likely to happen. And the, the way to really make that grow is shift it to ad supported and it'll be, it'll be 100 billion of ad dollars generated from playing games, which doesn't exist right now. And when you generate 100 billion of ad dollars, what, what the hell? And as a consumer, you will tolerate ads. You will. And I mean, the ads can be handled well, like every time you finish a level before, you, you know, you watch the cutscene, but before you can load the next level, you watch an ad. And so if it takes you 30 minutes to finish a level, who cares? If it takes you five, who cares? 
I think that's totally fair. There's so many ways to do this. Thank you for joining us on Pactor Factor on sifted.net. Uh, we are especially thankful if you're either a Patreon patron and or a YouTube subscriber. That's great. Uh, if you are, are doing those things or if you're not, try to remember to link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. There's instructions in the show description. And we get paid by Amazon. You pay nothing. You are sticking it to them. Do it. It's worth it. Don't be weird. Be sticking it to Amazon. Um, yeah, it's one of those really cool things that Amazon does for their subscribers, uh, for their Prime subscribers. And since you're already paying them, take advantage. It's a freebie for you. Get shame paid. So appreciate that. Follow me on Twitter at Michael Pactor. We'll see you next time.